Hey everyone, today let's talk about crawling. Now this is one of the biggest milestones that we were looking forward to because it will mean increased mobility and as a result, more ways for our son to interact with us and annoy us. It was really interesting and amazing to see his progress from the day he could barely move to rocking back and forth on the spot and finally full-fledged crawling. What seemed like a pretty straightforward milestone that would come by naturally was actually quite a complex process. And the reason is because he first needs to develop muscle strength to support his weight, then he needs to learn how to coordinate his arms and legs, but there are always ways to help him along. So let's talk about what we did. To develop his muscle strength, I found that tummy time was the most useful by far. Even though we started tummy time late, the benefits were still significant. Tummy time strengthens the back, the neck, shoulders, and most importantly, core muscles, which are the foundations for many milestones including rolling, sitting, and crawling. We also did activities like teaching him to pull himself up so that he could strengthen his arms and legs. When he started doing superman poses and getting into push-ups, planking positions on his own, we knew that he was ready to start learning how to crawl. The journey began with him trying to get into the crawling position, staying there for a while before flopping back down. He would do this repeatedly on the same spot until he got tired. Over time, we noticed that he could get into position but still lacked arm and leg coordination, causing him to fall over quite a lot. That was the cue for us to start teaching him coordination because he has the strength to push himself up, now he just needs to know how to move. In our case, we could tell that his weak points were his legs because he just could not find the leverage to push himself forward. So that was what we worked on. By blocking and pushing his feet, he was able to move forward much easier. We also started taking off his pants when he was learning because there is much more friction on his skin. And with enough repetitions, he will eventually learn to find a foothold. So this is the stage where he just kind of flopped his way around. He will push himself up, fall forward and repeat. Once he was able to do this without assistance from us holding his legs, we move on to the next step, which was to start motivating him to move forward on his own. We would put several of his toys and food at a distance in front of him so that he would try to get to them. And finally, we would take something he really likes, in this case, it's this rubber pipe, and just put it slightly out of his reach and move it back as he moves forward. That encourages him to keep trying to grab it, and in turn, he moves forward. So that was what we did, and he has definitely improved a lot more by now. Here are some more recent clips of him crawling around, and you can see how fast it is compared to the beginning of the journey. Now that the crawling milestone has been reached, I think the next one will be the biggest one, which is his first step. We are currently teaching him how to do that, so if you are interested in that video, do subscribe so you don't miss it. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope it has been useful. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.